All right, what is up, everybody? We are live tonight in episode five of the Power Hackers with Power Hacker Extraordinaire, Mr. Tyler Childs. Are you here with us tonight, Tyler? Check, check. Am I check, here? Can you hear check. me? He is totally here. I, I hear him. I hope you hear him. I hope everybody who's hanging out is hearing him. So we are just, uh, this is an exciting show. So for those of you who haven't caught a Wednesday night before, Wednesdays, I've been basically talking to the most hackerist hack people that I know that just they they possess the vibe of they they are the infusion of Silicon Valley. If you put them in a tea, like you can actually just like just taste like the hack. And we have one of those people here tonight, and he actually knows the guy that we talked to last week. So last week when we were speaking with Mr. Joey Cato, here he is. This is Mr. Tyler Childs, and you you actually work with Joey, right? Hey, yeah. Um, it's going to be a lot to follow up after Joey's stuff. Joey's a oh, role model. He's yeah, super Joey. impressive. He's, he's like the hacker of hackers. Joey's Joey's just everybody's role model. I I. I, Joey is Joey's role model. I, I, I should have asked him that. Damn it. That's, who writes <laughs> these yes. interview questions? Come on. You know what? <laughs> That's, I need this stuff. Okay. So Tyler, you do get to work with him. You do are, you are currently with him on the web and sort of sign up flow team over at Netflix. Is that fair? Yeah, working on um, sign up on the part on the payments side of things. Um, I'm actually going to be switching to a new team next Monday. Oh, wow! Though. And you are totally going to be telling us about that as we get in that point of the journey. But just just for frame of reference, everybody, this guy does work with uh, Joey, so we have a nice little continuity story arc going here. So we <laughs> that's feels like it's like a little bit a little bit of like episode planning. That's that's beyond my normal skill. So <laughs> all right, let me just pat myself. All right, we're good. All right, so anyway, let's. You didn't just start off. Netflix was not your first gig when you came to Silicon Valley. You you were from the East Coast originally. Is that yeah? Okay, yeah, good. Absolutely. People writing these the things cape. totally have this right. Okay, that's that's good because I think I wrote them. All right, so the Cape. The Cape refers to Cape Cod, which is something that people in the Valley, which would be Silicon Valley, don't <laughs> may or may not know. I don't. I don't know. Do, do you? Run into that problem when you're talking to people. Like you're like, I'm from the Cape, and they're like, What Cape? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> Whenever anybody's describing where they're from, it's like some small region that only the people in that region know about. <laughs> yeah, Lord of Zazel is going on. This is like you know more East Coast people. This is West Coast. You are live right now on the West Coast, aren't you? It's still sunlight there. I'm, look at this <laughs> darkness. I mean, it's just well, it's, right, it's green screen. Yeah, you got a lot of I mean, dark on your end. <laughs> yeah, it's totally dark. <laughs> Okay, so the most hackerous of hackers is somewhere in their basement doing it for fun. All right, Lord is Oslo. Okay, oh, you're from New York. Cool. Hey, what's up? Um, so I took a wrong turn into New York today, incidentally. <laughs> I'm gonna just tell you that I was trying to drive upstate. Uh, I was, you know, it's like the last chance to buy corn. You know, there's so there's this thing that like grows in the ground when you have water. I know this is foreign to people in Silicon Valley, but like you know, like it's it, you eat it. <laughs> it's like super good. So I uh, just really you know the farmers like this is it this is the last go and i was like yep i'm doing that and i went upstate and i missed the turn on seven and the next thing you know i'm like wow some friggin new yorkers like broke into connecticut and spray spray painted i love new york into our middle divider and then i was like no okay <laughs> no no guy you screwed it up so that you you got over that years ago you just like hitchhiked across the country i mean how how did you like go to silicon valley yeah, the, the actual like moving out here part was a road trip. Did road about trip, five days. epic road trip. Okay, yeah. wow, you just drove it straight through like the middle route, the high route, yeah. straight through Kansas, whatever that route straight, is. Yeah, the straight, don't fall asleep part. Okay, I, yeah. I heard the rumor that they actually like put curves in the highway because people were falling asleep on the highway because it's just it's so straight that they they would just fall asleep and in the first turn they would like just crash. So they actually like added the curves yeah. is what i heard now i don't it, it felt really straight to me but i was battling the wind that was the real challenge the <laughs> cross winds on my honda element are just rough <laughs> yeah because it's it's a field right you know it's like the no hills there until you're like massive hills okay so yeah. then you went over the mountains and san francisco or down in the valley where where, where did you land there i uh, came through sacramento and then landed uh 
in in the valley and i didn't see the entire trip didn't see any like police officers until we got to sacramento and then there was like 20 so i mean didn't get pulled over or anything but it's crazy how there's nothing in the middle of the country yeah i also never got pulled over (laughs) on that journey (laughs) so very real yeah moving on so um (laughs) you joined uh inflection at that point right you they were they were just talking to you. You you were looking around for work. You found this company, and and what were they doing? Yeah. Um, so I hit up my friend that was working there because um, I was kind of happy unhappy at the job that I was like working on. I was like, what else is going on? So I kind of hit him up. Um, mm-hmm. And the the work there wasn't super exciting, but I just wanted to get out into um, Silicon Valley and see what other mm-hmm. opportunities could be there. Um, but I landed working on like an identity verification, like as a service uh, product, okay. like at Inflection. Okay, so you know a lot about identity then. Yeah, that's that's ripe ripe with humor, but I'm not I'm not going there because startups, right? I mean, it's like probably got it a million times. Like, I mean, but I saw the ID T-shirts. I thought, is the is it is it id soft? Is it is it doom? Is it, <laughs> like is that how yeah. did I, id? Id? I, is it the id? I, I didn't I didn't know. So you you, you, you ID. ID. Okay, it is. It is ID. All right. I didn't. I didn't know the right way to say it. So you, yeah. you chilled there for a while. What 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 kind of stuff were you doing there when you, got when you arrived? Yeah. Um. When I first started, it was just doing you know front end like web dev stuff. Uh, working on Backbone with Backbone JS. Um, Backbone JS. Was, yeah. That was that was that era. That. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Marrying that to like flesh out the rough edges around that, Backbone. That wow. There's there's a lot of rough edges. That we actually <laughs> we can see. That we can see the the boyish looks as you were kind of getting ready for that journey, and and you know just just proud, standing tall, ready to go for work. You know, like let's 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 do this to you know the next day. And it was like this. Oh is... yeah, that that one's way back though. That 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 one was two thousand. The other one was two thousand eight. This is also two thousand eight. This is when I was working in Massachusetts. Still. Oh like, okay, so you hadn't actually day. gone over yet. But that that work. This is like the first entry into the work world. Like this yeah, is... this was this was data entry. This is what I was doing there. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> you were like, I'm getting out of this. Okay, so right. then no more data entry. So you then web design infinity. That's so that's actually when you were still there, roommates and chilling, and then just you got into this is a proper startup. I mean, this is like a room with some computers and the ergonomics. Yeah. That... That, that's, that's our apartment. That, that okay, was okay, was okay. My, that was where I was working on Web Design Infinity, though. That was I was my... gonna say this. This is full legit startup. I mean, like, I nothing has yeah. said startup to me more than this photo. But that is that is amazing. Okay, so you graduated. Um, you came across, and that was that was yeah. They, you see, this guy's laughing because he's like, I know what's coming. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> I know. Was on I stage, know. I took a selfie walking across the stage as I'm getting the diploma from the chancellor from from the nice. community college there. Nice. He's he's yeah. he's amused because he's like, yeah, data entry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're not going to be happy. But you okay? We're gonna we're gonna cut ahead to the valley, and if I got this right, this I'm just gonna kind of jump here. Wow. You were, you were. Oh, that's just the land, the land party. The, oh, this it's is fun. PAX. Yeah, this is this is PAX East in 2010. Oh, that and you won, right? Because what wow, first place? Halo yeah. three. I got carried by my friends. Like I'm like the worst one out of the three of us, <laughs> oh, and then we got a, a fourth guy as a random <laughs> oh, round out the team. So. Man, that is some nice video game. Have you ever played uh, the Primogen Paulson in? Uh, in in Halo, I understand he used to be like pretty serious Halo player. I have not played him in Halo. I think uh, no, I haven't played any games with with Paulson. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm down. Like the okay. gauntlet is thrown. Right, the gauntlet now. is thrown. <laughs> That's no, no, no gauntlet throwing. <laughs> okay, so he um, you can you can ask him some time about the the last time him and I played Tetris. He doesn't want to talk to me anymore about video games. That that we're just we're done. <laughs> like he's like nope. Nope, not doing it. Um, yeah, I know this was. You could actually, Lord Azazel, you could do this in a room, and no one had to wear a mask. Like this, this is a land party. Like this was a thing you could do back then. <laughs> That's okay. So we moved on. We got across the country. We oh, we were in Puerto Rico first. We, I'm sorry, I did skip a few important things here. That we were chilling in Puerto Rico and working on our Spanish. Right? What? 
<laughs> yeah, I was uh, <laughs> doing a mission trip down there for um, one one summer and just hanging out um, in the projects with like the, the kids there. Mm -hmm. um, in the purple shorts there, that's Perla. The reason why her hair is so short is uh, she had less and they needed to cut it. She gave that to a lot of people last summer. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah we... great, though. I loved her. Okay, we got some family. We're bowling. We're getting... Okay, now we're, now we're getting into a real cube. We're... <laughs> we're moving yeah, along. That's inflection. We're, now we're at inflection. Now we're at that's inflection. Okay. Inflection. Here's here's a proper launch. Like everyone's a little bit stressed. It might have worked. We don't really know. That is. Am I reading worked. this scene right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly what there's, it is. There's this a couple what... guys. Like I like this guy. He's like no, nope, <laughs> no, no. This is not good. This yeah. this. I'm with you, man. This is not good. These guys are like yeah, it's fine, right? There's just a couple a couple bumps in the road. Wait, wait, wait. What, what's what? Really? <laughs> and then just, okay, that that but there's a lot of monitors. There's a lot of coffee. All right, so people are like digging in on this. So this. <laughs> All right, that but that was fun, right? Identity. I mean, you know, being in the valley, like starting first phase of the dream, right? Yeah, exactly. You got to start somewhere. Okay. All right, makes sense. You were taming, so you had tamed some of your frameworks and then you said you know what i'm going to double down on css frameworks i i am you know this bootstrap thing is just it's not working for me like it's i it's too heavy <laughs> it's just way too heavy it's it's a big it's massive, massive project there's way too much the docs alone are larger than cute strap i mean like like you you could actually take the documentation and and that would vastly outweigh this thing i mean so cute strap sort of play on bootstrap you were like i'm, I'm gonna sort this out is that how did you like get to wanting to own your own framework because there's there's a lot of trouble when you own your own framework yeah and i'm never gonna do that again but that, <laughs> that. Um, it, it actually came down to this uh one one person gave me this like earworm of an idea um called vertical rhythm um okay and i'll, I'll describe that a little bit for your, yeah. for your viewers but um basically the gist is like when you're viewing um, content to have like this like vertical grid, like you have like, you know, horizontal grids, like 12 line, mm -hmm. 12 column grid against 960 pixels, right? Yep. Um, so what do you do for like that vertical stuff? And I was like, I bet you can do something that's perfectly aligned to like each of those. So at that point it was this challenge of solving out like all of the pixels. Okay, forward. but you're not allowed to use a table, right? Yeah, no tables. Okay, because that's totally what I do. I just, I, I know it's not cool, right? I, I, I'm yeah. not cool like that. Okay, so. No, no, tables are totally fine, honestly. Okay. Like, whatever solves problems. But <laughs> okay. When you think about, like, when you put an image in, how the default um, display um, of an image is still going to have, like, four pixels below because of the line height of the image. Okay. So just okay. trying to solve all of those weird pixels to extrapolate that out from whoever's using the framework. All right, but isn't that different from browser to browser? I mean, do they all have the same line height? calculations or do you have to like i mean that that sounds hard right there you can you can set it in css so by default they all have and that's where kind of like the reset css like uh style sheet eric meyer came from um originally was trying to normalize across browsers and this just kind of takes that up to the next level without actually being like practical it's fun it's cool it's a okay. parlor trick but do you really need to have like every single pixel accounted for i don't know right right okay that's Good point. All right, I I, I don't know. I, I like I'm so bad I with like CSS. It. Like people just tell me they're like you know. I mean, this needs to be pixel perfect. This doesn't. I mean, pixel perfect sounds to me like there's really only one option. <laughs> you you either nailed it <laughs> or you did not nail it. <laughs> you nailed it in the other sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so cute strap. Like all right. So it was born in that super minimalistic and to somebody who's like not great with css i mean i want to use this instead of bootstrap because i mean i've tried bootstrap and i've, I've kind of gotten nowhere and I've, I've sort of given up i end up like just like trying to hand style stuff like like do i i mean so is this about that onboarding experience is it about like the cognitive load that a developer has to go through to like really i mean because i've seen people do amazing stuff with bootstrap but it seems like you have to spin up a ton of stuff in your brain to get your head around it yeah, there, there's absolutely that, that cognitive load um, with, with Bootstrap. So this does like try to address that somewhat by you know really limiting the API footprint. And what I like the most about okay. Bootstrap is um, the forms. Like each form element has follows like a similar syntax or pattern. Mm -hmm. Try and normalize how like 
checkboxes, for example, and like input elements, they're they're just different for how you need to like get them presentational, like to to look good. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I was kind of going for with with Cutestrap was to here's how you do your DOM, like how, how you, you do your markup a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and it's always the same way, no matter what form control you're trying to build. And then you can just trust that the styles are going to hook into that to, to hmm. look good. I like that. That 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 sounds like what I want, actually. <laughs> that is, okay, that I'm, I, I'm trying it. That's that, that, that did it. So this is how you ended up getting just attacked on, I mean, like graphs, happened right yeah. you know, because everybody said you know what that makes a ton of sense i it has an opinion it's sassy it look, look at the red pink like logo thing it, it's it's cute i mean what it what happened like how did this spike happen like what you, you just one day was like what is going on here? yeah <laughs> like, there was definitely that what is happening actually i i posted it to reddit originally because i like to get feedback on things that i work on for like dumb ideas and reddit is just like a really good place to get like any idea you throw out there, like, dumped on. Okay, I, um, I posted on Reddit, nothing happened. Okay, like, like yeah. nothing. I didn't post on Reddit. Somebody posted the, like, Nintendo on, like, Netflix on the original Nintendo on Reddit, and I got dumped on, and I didn't post it. I had nothing to do with it. I just, one day, it was like, oh, somebody's calling me a bag of sticks. <laughs> and um, that's yeah. that's nice yeah. of them. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know why they're doing that. but <laughs> So you just... You you went into this knowing that like Reddit maybe I don't understand Reddit maybe maybe it like just this is what you're supposed to do with it was ask feedback and I I just followed the wrong protocol so like what 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 happened like I mean you posted it you're like a couple people say this is cool and they said no yeah. or what yeah it was it was kind of like a there was only like I think probably two responses on Reddit itself um, of you know people being like it's a good idea bad idea I didn't actually get the feedback I wanted to from there. But what ended up happening was, this is how I learned about Hacker News, was somebody telling me, dude, you're on the front of Hacker News. And I'm like, what is Hacker News? And then I pull up my Google Analytics, and this is what I This spike seeing. is the front of Hacker News. So this, this wow, that's, and you got the tool tip here, we're at 13,000 users. I mean, that what a spike, just, and that's that echo news. effect. Okay, that's only, that's, echo news. that's only Hacker News. Like, nothing else is affecting that. And then the trail off of Hacker News. And then the trail off, I mean, did, did general usage go up? How, how do you even track that? I don't. I don't even know what. Yeah, I guess we could pull up the the GitHub um, repo. The the stars. The stars um, are the only the feedback, stars really. the only metric that okay. I have. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, open issues that I've. You they're know, like, yeah, not you, you have some stars. Now, I mean, now, I mean, but at Netflix, we ditched the stars, right? You know, we were like, stars don't work, but stars yeah. are thumbs up and thumbs down. Right. Yeah. We were like, okay, stars are ineffective but you know that that's it that's our only metric on github so you saw a lot of stars and you said wow crap i have a job like i have this thing that i was just trying to get some feedback on is like my world now <laughs> yeah exactly okay. and i could not handle that like it was just, everyone's like where's this feature i'm using your thing and it doesn't say this you're like i, I didn't write the korean version of the language what like documentation what's going on here yeah Exactly. Um, but luckily, I, I think I got, I got lucky with Cutestrap in that that was the first one to go viral. And it's like an opinionated, these are my opinions, and we're not going to add a whole lot more to it. So it's very okay. easy to shut down new ideas and being like, that's, okay. that's outside of scope. Go, go use Bootstrap. OK, so is that why you write opinionated in the description? Because then you're allowed to do that? Yeah, that's that's the disclaimer you need. And then people will be like, I really like that this is opinionated. It's like, why have we not all been doing that the whole time? I. Wow, I I feel educated. That is like that's like a whole chapter of life I'm getting wrong right there. But okay, it's just like my opinions, man. No, I, that as long as you're allowed to. All right, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't, I didn't I didn't know that was something you could do. Okay, so now I understand why they all say they're opinionated in the framework. I totally. I was like, I was like, what does that word mean? I mean, is it just like the framework has an opinion? It, it's this non corporeal entity that tells us. The direction of development and architecture in the future what, what does that mean i don't understand that i took the mantle of the non-corporeal entity <laughs> okay i'm i'm going with you on that i i so sims you left oh, yeah. that why why are we looking at sims you just played yeah. too much sims 
why is this why is this picture here um okay. <laughs> so this is actually go back to last week's episode with joey um because we were kind of like two ships passing in redwood Shores. <laughs> okay nice, uh, nice. inflection was in redwood joey Shores was over was at like, ea doing sims and you were just like you know what we're we're like we're gonna meet but we're not gonna meet yet you're like, yeah. you're like your, your day is coming i'm gonna meet that, you that, later. that will come <laughs> okay so you basically all right so you're at universal with the lady there's yeah that that's a so that picture is me being totally free i had just got let go from uh inflection they and you're, you went to universal down. and we already had plans to go to universal i'm so glad i got let go before man. vacation instead of after can you imagine if i was thinking about work for that vacation man i <laughs> i knew i liked you <laughs> I mean, this, this this photo knowing that context like <laughs> That's it right there. You, you go to Universal. Do you go to Universal? You Here's the photo. I went to Universal. You just... Yep. The, at, there was no Harry Potter world at this point, was there? <laughs> that... Uh, that was 2018, so there was, yeah. Yeah, we okay. went to Harry Potter okay. world. We had a good okay. time in Harry Potter world. Okay, yeah. All right. I, that, okay. All right, yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Representing. So you, you enjoyed it anyway. You're like, we're ID. You know what? ID, don't have any. I'm, I'm done with the ID. I'm not wearing the shirt. And... Yeah. Yep, you're having frozen bananas. <laughs> That's you're just. This is like the greatest vacation ever because you're just like, yeah, I don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> like, there's nothing on my mind. This is not clearing my mind to have to go back to work. You were no. <laughs> well, that, was, that one's inside of Netflix. That's inside of one. Oh, of the oh, oh! This is after Queer Eye, right? Right. Okay. So yeah. you, so somebody noticed you at Universal. All right, I'm gonna fill the story in. You, just somebody okay, yeah, said. Do it. This guy at the banana booth with the cute strap, you're coming here, right? I mean, how, what, okay, what, how did, how did the next frame happen? Like, how, how did we get from universal, carefree, cute strap blew up, not sure what to do with it, to I'm pumping code on web <laughs> and, and the, the machine is, you know, the Netflix, Netflix is heard of in 2018. I mean, is that... 2019 i don't know what yeah what? that's 2018 and uh you know right after getting back from universal kind of hit the ground running of like what am i gonna do for my next gig i don't know but the first thing is to hit up all my friends and get free lunch from all their startups yeah, that's <laughs> the right thing to do that's the right thing to do netflix being sort of a startup and sort of not a startup at that point i mean just netflix wasn't even on my radar at that point i didn't okay. have any aspirations to work at, at netflix it wasn't until okay. after getting lunch that i was like that's where i want to be lunch which which lunch how many lunches <laughs> that's that's what i want to know i mean because because i actually hit on this theory at one point in silicon valley that you could just keep interviewing because they kept putting me up at like hotels and like bringing me out to like lunch you know and i was like I don't live here, you know, like, you know, it was one of those, like, you know, you're trying to like fill out a credit card statement and you're like, you know, address and you're like, I, <laughs> you know, like, I mean, you're asking the reception, what, what's the address here? I, I'm not, I yeah. need to get some you mail. Need to get some mail. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, so you're in that state, but you ended by meeting, the, so the right friend told you to come to Netflix or, or what, what was the, you saw a talk or what was the connection there? Uh, yeah, it was the the right friend. So my friend Miriam, I worked with um, at Inflection. Um, she's okay. an amazing designer. Okay. Um, so I was getting lunch with her at Netflix, and you're like, the lunch um, is good. The lunch is good. The I'm lunch in. is but good. I'm in. <laughs> she, she set me up with my um, my who was my manager. She just recently transitioned to a different team at Netflix. But uh, Tara, um, I ended up having uh, right after having lunch with Miriam, just talked to this Tara for a little bit, just like you know, just like feeling it out like would you like to work at netflix like what are you like doing like what are you looking for and like from there it's like i really liked tara i really like the the um the culture that i'm hearing about at netflix so i was like i okay. could probably see myself here and okay that, that was kind of the the connection all right and then you had to get through the interview and you're like they're like here's some css and you're like dude i wrote that book like you know you <laughs> i did bring up pete strap in the interview I yeah like, I, like CSS. I want to write more css and i'm opinionated it says on the web page <laughs> that i'm opinionated on the way this framework works so if you're wondering where i stand it's right there Thank you. Interview done. <laughs> so easiest interview ever. I mean, but that's a unique skill. I mean, I feel like, especially having been in software for a while, like I think of CSS and I, I shudder and cringe. I mean, but you think of CSS and you immediately have the metrics, the dimensions. You're starting to think like, I could do this like 10 different ways. I could fiddle it different ways. I've seen you fiddle things to me just like in casual conversation. Like, you know, I would do the barn door this way, you know, <laughs> and just a fiddle comes back, you know, it, 
I, I mean, how, how do you get your head around that? Because that's a long way from data entry. <laughs> yeah. And I, I guess it kind of goes does go back to getting out of that data entry is when I was working at that, that company, Marketing Advocate, um, I was, you know, taking classes at the community college and one of the back end devs was like, hey, so we've got this menu that like is like wrapping to the next line. There's a border here. So and it shouldn't. And it shouldn't. <laughs> so they were like, can you fiddle with this? And, and from there, fiddle. they were like, you can play with the CSS. That's the only code you're allowed to touch this entire thing. So if the only code you have access to is CSS, everything is a nail. <laughs> get it then you get it okay so that yeah. that was the lens right so that's like it just brought focus you're like this is what i'm going to change and i have to make this effect happen yeah okay. exactly that's and building up that mental model of the bo the box model if you're trying to get in, into css like I, I, no I've, with the box. I've tried I, I i don't have the box whatever the box model voodoo is is not in my world i i it's not my purview but i like that your framework has an opinion on that because I can just borrow your opinion. <laughs> so I'm totally trying that out. We're gonna we're gonna live code that later. But so we you're should, at we should absolutely do that. That that's a good idea. We're, so we're gonna we're gonna hold that. We're gonna pin that. <laughs> so that you, there you are at Netflix and Queer Eye has just been announced. We're we're relaunching it. You're taking photos. You're like this is awesome. Yeah, I like taking selfies. Okay, no, that's <laughs> hanging out in the bathroom. <laughs> that's pretty. Yeah, just hanging in the bathroom, and then you're back at a startup again. What? What? Did we mix up the order? No, you're. That's playing. another land party. That's a land party. Under, I just, I don't know. I just threw some land party photos. In now here. it's like now it's West party. Coast. You're rocking it by coastal. Suddenly, there's a lot more lights on the computers. Some people have like mobile computers with decent GPUs. Like I, I'd never seen that before. Like I mean, those things are hot, <laughs> like, yeah. like physically hot. <laughs> that's, they okay. ramp up. <laughs> they do. They do ramp up. All right. So land party. What's what's the game here, by the way? What? Uh, I think that night we were playing um, a little bit of Overwatch. We were playing something else. There was at, at, at that exact night there was like some like rushing cracked version of Halo Three that got like leaked. <laughs> so, I, but of course we we have licenses for everything because you know, we have licenses. Right. Right. Okay. So yeah. All right. All right. So we we did that, and the dog was like, "I'm in." Like I'm, I'm just Watson. Watson That's saying. Watson. I, I, I like the Netflix bandana. I, I know that bandana. I, I've seen that bandana. I feel like that bandana is from Neil's summer picnic. Who's Neil? Okay. All right. So that was before your time. All right. So, my bad. All right. No, no. I might have the wrong bandana. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure which bandana it is, but that I feel like that was Neil's summer picnic. So I'm going to I'm gonna forget that, but the dog is wearing it well. I, I think... I think mine is still sitting in a closet. <laughs> so Lord of Zazzle, licenses. Okay, we're good with our vendors, right? So we believe in licenses. All right. So Dog clearly believes in licenses. This is licensed swag from Netflix. Okay, so that's a great photo. But by the way, I just love it. And he's he really is into the swag. He's got the gray hat. It's the the graphite. You like dressing up. Yeah, that's that's a good that's the new logo on the end, but that that okay. So this is what are we this is a new apartment um that was no, one of the places when i was doing the the lunch tour uh, oh. for, for a gig so that's that's inside of credit karma um that's like wow. this like study that they just like have it used to be some i don't know politician or something's like corner office um and now it's just little workspace that's great look at the yeah. people i see legs people are just sleep in there midday or what why wouldn't you sleep there? I would totally I, sleep yeah, there. I would totally sleep there. All right, that's that's pretty sweet. What more cool offices? What? Where is this? Um, that one's uh, Facebook. So there's like an arcade oh. inside of that, that room there. Right. Okay. Some so, really good barbecue that day with my friend Scott. All right. That man. These are. I, I had lunch at all the wrong places. <laughs> that one's this, that's LinkedIn. Okay, I know that one. I've been there. That they. I like their coffee bar. They got the really nice coffee bar. They have a dessert chef. That just like his one job is just making dessert chef. You had one job, <laughs> make the dessert. Okay, so that wow, you really did rock this. Robin Hood. Um, Robin Hood, chilling. You can't see Robin in this Hood. picture, but they had this like wall of moss. Uh, my friend Alejandro was telling me that like a bunch of employees like went to the woods on some hike and they were grabbing moss. I think that's probably bad for the ecosystem, but they <laughs> wanted it for their wall and they wanted it free. Okay. So they borrowed the moss and they borrowed the moss. They'll give it back eventually. Right. Okay. So we have stuff on the stairs. We're climbing the stairs. Yeah. That one's uh, it's square. Um, square. Okay. You have to pay for your lunch there. 
<laughs> Talk about dog fooding. <laughs> dog like, fooding by the way, we need to. We'll probably give you a credit, but you have to pay. You have to go through the swipe terminal and make sure that everything works. Okay, that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened at Netflix. They actually, they people at Netflix a long time ago. This was this predated me. This is like, I don't, I don't even know, like around 2010 to. to it's, somewhere somewhere a while ago they basically had free netflix and then that disappeared because there was issues with the sign up flow and so they said okay you know what all of you don't have free free net what we're going to do is we're going to add 8 bucks a month to everybody's salary <laughs> and you're all going to sign up for the app and we're going to we're going to get this sorted out like i mean there there's the dog fooding all right so the dog was already there had the swag all right so that is still that's not netflix uh, this one's Thumbtack up in San Francisco. They had they had really good lunch. This is, this is there. Yeah, that's all, all you really got. <laughs> all right, I got I got to stick. Oh man, because that I know where we're going next. So this you last one? one, I I don't know this one. That one that one's Uber. That's like their space hallway. But the funny story about Uber, they have this like spiral staircase that's like four inches off of the ground. Like it's attached to the floor above it. It's four inches off the ground, and it costs like four million dollars. And Travis really wanted it, oh and it God. sounds like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Okay, that's yeah, that sounds terrible. Okay, but now you're down in LA and you're hacking because you're doing the thing that needs to be done. You're, yeah. and you won. This is like, now that's I remember seeing you during this hack day, and they had some great swag. They had some great trophies, um, and you were having your hack was actually working. I think, I think the problem was we uh, started a little bit before Hack Day, so our uh, Hack Day was more okay. of a, a pivot. So because because mine hacker. was not working, and I heard the sounds of merriment at like two or three in the morning when you both were like you and Archana and like a couple other people were like walking by and having a beer, and I'm like, I want to play. <laughs> I know. I wanted to help you with your CSS. I was I, like, let I, me come. I, I You're working know. on your CSS at 2 a.m. I can help. I didn't I did not understand your your guruness at that point with the CSS. All right. That trust me, that conversation would have gone differently. But, <laughs> but like, okay, all this merriment and fun, that's over. <laughs> like, yeah. All right. Yeah, we so, could have you hanging out with us too, man. Yeah, I really, yeah. That but you you were with Joey. You were on this this team. This is the prodigal hack. And that's oh, that was um, television. So I think he did the different. We did different. Hacks. He's wearing we, the we prodigal hack. Categories. That's right. Yeah, because yeah. you, you both. They, wow. That so I don't even know. I had time to do more than one hack. That that blows my mind because I guess my hacks never let me do that. But you, Terravision was a pretty sweet hack. I are we allowed to talk about that? Is that? Yeah, that, we can okay. absolutely talk about Terravision because okay. it's inside of a, a blog post. So because okay. it's okay. in a blog that, post, it that is makes a it game that's that on limit. Uh, okay, okay. So we are allowed to say that. Hello, Fafi, by the way. Um, hear about one of the coolest hacks. So tell us Terravision. This is this is a sweet. So you met Noessa. You heard about this. Why don't you describe it? I, I, I'm going to ruin it. <laughs> yeah, how, how much detail should we go into? Because I mean, I also met Ted Sarandos during this whole ordeal That's too. So. true. And did you... So there's only one thing I do every time I see Ted Sarandos, and that's I ask. I'm like, yeah, you you already know, you already know. (laughs) Like uh, that's, I'm like Ted. I haven't seen Firefly season two yet. I I, I, look. I'm just I'm just saying you're doing a lot of great work. You know, there's this whole LA thing that that's wonderful. You're doing a wonderful job, but but Firefly. Okay, (laughs) I just need need to bring Firefly back. I and and you talk to him. Probably not about Firefly. I'm gonna no, go out of the it, it, it wasn't about Firefly. But okay. Yeah. Just, no, just hung out. Got a quick like back lot tour, but that was about it. Very it cool. Good, good very cool guy. Now the co CEO of Netflix too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And That's... I didn't know that then because he wasn't. No, he wasn't that then. then. <laughs> no, yeah, that hadn't happened yet. Like you were, yeah. you were respecting the fourth dimension. Okay, so like basically, <laughs> like that. <laughs> Always respect the fourth dimension. You have you to break the, a lot you, of you rules. know the rules. But... Okay, <laughs> like you're so, whatever else you talk about, please. Okay, you know we don't we don't want mayhem here on the channel. All right, so um, basically, you we're down in LA. This is their first ever hack day in the studio, and we were actually in a real soundstage hacking. And there was like fire marshal signing off on like, you know, the layout of the place. And so everybody's like, just what, what an awesome hack environment to be in a real. And I, and as I understood it, this was the same soundstage that was Hollywood squares. 
Oh, whoa, I didn't realize that. Yeah, this is apparently where it was, like, back in the day. Like, this is literally the same space. And we're just sort of chilling there, building TerraVision or whatever we're building. I, I, I don't know what we're how much we're supposed to say i mean <laughs> i was i had my buried joke in my hack this is why i was there till three in the morning trying to get like a firefly season two thing when i talked to my voice <laughs> ai but that of course didn't work when i was on stage <laughs> so, it never does the no, demo never goes right never that's that's advice to all of you viewers do not do not try a voice ui hack on stage at a hack day that's just just don't do it. Just that that's that was my learning. <laughs> and also never sweat the demo because it's going to go wrong anyway. It's going so. to go wrong. <laughs> yes, totally. Okay, noted. So they they noted it. We're good. Um but that was a super fun experience. I mean they you know flew yeah. down there, chilled out for a little bit, and headed back up. And that was I mean, and you had the right shoes, you had the right footwear for that. Oh yeah. Yeah, but before we go, do you want me to actually talk about Terabit? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I yeah. didn't know how much yeah. you were allowed oh, no to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, so the the gist of Terravision, uh, somebody else is you know doing the all hard work of all the heavy lifting, but the, the gist <laughs> I, is. I view the CSS as the hard work, to be honest. But that's just me. <laughs> the, <laughs> like like computer vision and way. like artificial intelligence, like recurrent neural networks, no problem. Like, all right, now get this like thing not to overflow on a box, like forget it like <laughs> just, it's beyond yeah. me it's dumpster we're, fire we're do you see do you see my emotes <laughs> yeah i know do you see that do you see my emotes these are pixel emotes you get from subscribing to my channel that this is this is the dumpster fire that is usually my css okay that is Love that, i usually refer to my own code with the dumpster fire that's generally what that emote is for but useful I, for I live coding code that isn't CSS as a dumpster fire. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so anyway, the hard work, you're going to describe the hack. Okay. Tell us. Yeah. Um, so the, the gist is when you're trying to like work on finding locations for films and movies, you need to go and take pictures of those locations. Then you need to have like a record of like those locations and who actually keeps track of that and where do you actually know? And like, there's just so many pictures and so many like GPS coordinates, like how can you figure out where is a good place to film something? Mm -hmm. um, so the idea is basically, what if you could go to Google Images and you could be like, I want to film in a bar. And then you could just take that picture of a bar and you can drag and drop, upload it. And it's going to find all of the locations that we have scouted already. That um, scouting, that scouting at like bars? Bar. Are, we, yep. are we allowed to scout at bars? Can I, why did I miss out on that? <laughs> yeah. well, no, are you guys all drinking? Like, no, I'm, I'm scouting. I, do you see the camera? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm scouting here. I need to scout every bar in the area. <laughs> That, I miss my calling in life. Do you, all right, anyway. That, that is the pro tip is to keep all I'm, of your receipts. I'm pouring a drink scouting. for that. <laughs> scouting. That's, okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a little virtual scouting right here. <laughs> Carry on. Also, cheers for scouting. Oh, yep. Cheers, cheers, cheers for scouting. Um, Actually, those are two jobs that I think everybody in the world would probably want. Like, one would be like a location scout for bars for Netflix where the expenses are all paid. <laughs> Two would be watching Netflix to determine the categories of content. And so there are professional watchers that sit on a couch and watch Netflix as a job. Like, you know, so like all those facetious calls from parents to children, like you're watching Netflix like it's your job. Like that is someone's job. <laughs> like that job exists. So it's pretty dope. I, I'm super jealous. Like I'd rather <laughs> that. I mean, give me CSS and that. Okay. Get, get rid of all of the other programming. Okay. And that's okay. All right. We'll put the CSS on the couch. All right. So. Anyway, so you're doing virtual location scouting with this this uh, bar, and I'm just thinking the dumpster fire, my CSS. <laughs> and so not not that. And you're looking around, and you can drag and drop, and it finds like related stuff based on the image that you're sending. Yeah, exactly. And I think that what made the the hack really stand out um, was the fact that it you I blurred the lines on how long it actually took to get the results up because it, it took about like 10 seconds because it's a pretty big like operation mm -hmm. yep um so i always think about this story and i'm gonna totally butcher it but um i heard this story about this like airport right and when you know when you get off the plane and you got to go get your bags from baggage mm -hmm. claim and then you're just waiting at baggage claim for a super long time and you're like man i got places to be yep uh the airport ended up making it take longer to get from your plane to where the baggage claim right. was that right. way you waited less well that so, was the, that was the disney style right because like if you make the line wrap around and they can't see the line then it's okay that everybody's waiting forever 
at the exactly. theme park, right? You know, that, that yeah. it's mind hacking. Okay. So like, all right. So, so you're about to do this with CSS. I, I love where this is going. Tell, tell me, tell me. Yeah. It, it's really nothing like super special, super flashy. But after you did like the drag and drop upload, we just kind of like did some like ease in and, and ease out animations of um, Netflix has this like thing called like the stack. Um, and that's basically just like that branding term for, you know, the red and then the, like a picture of something coming yeah. through and then like pausing. So End it all. When you dr- yeah. So you drag and drop the image on there. It does a couple of those and then freezes on the image that you just upload, upload and it's like processing and then it like does like the next one. And like, uh-huh. that's all just like obscuring the network oh, latency of getting the result. There back. it is. <laughs> that is. I'd fall for it. I'd, I'd be having so much fun. I'd be like, I don't want to see the results. Like go back yeah. to the, 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 the that thing. Was, it was so it? flashy. It, just, it like, felt like it was doing something. Okay. <laughs> just, just tell. I actually told the viewers about the 25% bar on the spinner. I'm like, I'm like that. That's fiction. That, that that's what that's not real uh, no <laughs> no <laughs> 25 and 99 hard coded i swear are, are they're they... different errors uh 25 <laughs> is no response 99 is license so that anyway the, 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 there's there's codes when you look at the spinner of like what's happening you know so a, a programmer can look at it and go Oh no! <laughs> you know, like you're always sitting in a room and somebody's like no it's fine it's at 25 just 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 be patient guy and i'm like no, <laughs> no, no, that's that reminds me of um, this thing I read a while ago about Xbox 360, and this is totally worth googling and looking up. But this guy was working on um, Xbox 360 on like some of the development units, you got to like send out the development units to developers to like work on it. Oh, the splash, and so it was like a little yes. like Xbox logo, and the little like circles like rippling out, yep. and the rate at the, which the ripples happen is like uniquely identified. So if That's... anybody leaked anything, they knew exactly which console yep. it came from. Yeah, I actually Pretty have wild. the image. I I don't know where I put it, but <laughs> you know, like I actually have the image of that when, when somebody told told me about that. I was like, <laughs> like That's just, a cool one. Yeah, that is. Oh, and by the way, Bulala, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, and also Joe Kantu. Okay, so anyway, we're we're back here and you're doing that and that was a winner, right? I mean that was that was what was needed to win. <laughs> yeah. So. It's totally a team thing though, because like Noessa um had like the Solid hack day, team. Ha- did the hack day um the, the hack day before for like the first iteration of like Terra, which was just like the the map of the location. Okay. Um but she's like networking the entire event too. So mm-hmm. I think that's another secret to hack day is to like yeah, have somebody that's like advocating. That. Like, it's like it all comes down to voting at the end. That's, that's um, the question I was going to ask later is how do you, how do you, like, how do you win hacks? But anyway, that, that there yeah. it is that so, <laughs> as flashy as my animations were, no, like hands down won okay. won that hack day for the okay. team. She's, she's, <laughs> she is good at that. Okay. So, um, well, knows what she's about. So that was that nice, solid win. Very good. And then the shoes. Now, now we can talk about the shoes. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean. Right, I didn't so. mean to. I, I felt we just had more to unpack. No, no, no. You're right. You're absolutely right. That Terravision is a great hack. I, I love that one. Okay, so, but you're wearing these, right? Size 66 Vans. So I, that's on my <laughs> desk at work. Um, and then somebody saw it and it was like, "Wait, I have a size like a giant shoe as well." So they brought it over and we took a little did a little photo shoot. That is awesome. Okay, so that. Yeah. Yep. Super cool. <laughs> The giant van shoe, though, um, I got that for free um, from the, <gasps> the manager at the van store um, in like the Hillsdale Mall. I was in there like twice in like one week. You know, I just like vans a lot. Okay. Um, so I was just like talking with the guy, and then they bought stuff like both times. And like as I'm checking out the second time, we had, we had a good time like talking. He's like, "Hang on a second. He like brings us out. And he's like, "Do you want this?" And I was like, "Do you not want that?" <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll take it. And he's like. Just go like all I had to do was like sign up for like the Vans family thing, which people do for free anyways. So okay, I'll do it for a few hands down. I did. I I've been shopping all wrong. I, I think that's that is. Yep, yep. There's that. Okay, so we're all right. That's that's pretty cool. This is actually at Netflix HQ in Los Gatos. So we're we're, we're chilling there, and then we're drawing on a board because this is. I, I can't even oh, yeah. make this out. I, so th- this is, I, I threw in pictures that weren't necessarily like work related to. Oh, okay. But, so we're good um, here. Yeah, exactly. What's this, this is the, a photo of our wall. So um, Matt, who we looked at like way, way early on in the first time, like um, I moved out. Uh-huh. Um, Matt was my roommate. This was when I first moved out to California, I was living in his living room uh, in Redwood City. Nice. Because um, he had a one bedroom. 
but we eventually moved into a two bedroom. This was the wall from the apartment in the two bedroom. Everybody that came to our apartment got measured. And this is the heights <laughs> of everybody that lived with that, that came to visit us. Um, that's and great. All this, all that randomness that goes along. That, that, that's it, entropy. That one of my favorite. That's one of my favorite pictures. And it's that's nah, just I the love the style and the way like people so write there. It. Yeah, totally. Yeah. A lot of. I no, I love it. Okay, so we it's have a like car jokes scattered throughout. Too. No, that's good. You should. Uh, it, but you have a car. Yeah, that, that's just my Honda Element. I've had that for like 10 years okay. now. I just love things that work and work well. Yes, uh, yes, I do too, especially as an engineer. <laughs> okay, but how did your dog balance that? <laughs> that's awesome. Watson's a very good boy. That, Watson is a very good boy. Watson is a good boy. All right, so we have some, some of the random. We have the vans set up. We are good on the vans. That um, And that is, wow, that is really... That's that's quite an adventure. Have you have you hacked since the TerraVision? I I'm not sure what we got there. Um, I mean, so you went into the web dev. I mean, so all right, we're allowed to talk about non hack non vans as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, now, so you're in the web team, and so Joey's more on the sign up side. Are you, are you working on the sign up side of Netflix, or is it more on the like member, you know, logged in yeah. world? Yeah. I'm on the, the sign up side. Um, so Joey works like on the TV UI. So all of the new um, like sign up stuff on TV is stuff that okay. uh, Joey and the rest of the team are, are working on. Okay. Um, the, the main thing that I worked on um, for my time that, you know, I think actually like helps like inside like the small payments ecosystem is like this, this 3DS like technology. And we don't have to talk about that too much, but that's just the um, second factor like authentication for payments like that's primarily oh. done in India right now but there's a, um, mm -hmm. it was supposed to start in the rest of Europe in like 2019 but and you're constantly um, running out tests at Netflix well. there's like millions of th yeah. we're testing payment methods we're testing friction on is it even worth it to take all this information like what's the fraud risk on all I mean like so you're I mean you get your head around a lot of tests in a given like quarter right uh, it, it varies like quarter over quarter, but okay. yeah, there's, there's a lot of tests that are running all the time. You always have to be like aware of like which other tests are running in the same space and like, what's our allocation window? What are the prioritizations for one test over, over the next? Okay. Everything at Netflix yeah. is AB tested, clinically tested, randomized controlled trials, and you got to win on view. So I guess in, in signups, it's really win on conversions, right? I guess would be one of the main yeah. metrics. Yeah, exactly. That's what you, you target for. Okay, very cool. Oh, hey, what's up, Alf and Golf? Chilling out. Welcome back. We're hey. with. I actually set the today command today, so we actually have this is this is Tyler Childs, and there you go. Bot's gonna bot knows. <laughs> so, all right, bot knows. Bot knows all. This is the this is the sign up page. So this flow is different depending on where you are in the world, what payment methods there are. There's actually like just like millions of variations of this. Yeah, there's actually something really dumb that I can show you. If you go to netflix.com slash gift hyphen cards, there's there's going to be a button that's going to change in the next two weeks. And I can get a gift really card? Just the, it's really just the button. Okay. Yeah, gift hyphen cards. And if you scroll down to the button that says, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. That, yep. That that button's gonna change in the next two weeks, and I've been it's been a lot of uh, work from a lot of people from. Is this uh, unblinding the to the test? Are we allowed to say this if it's? It's not a test. Okay, this is not a test. This is not a test. I've been working on um, uh, a design system, like you're working with like Amazon Style Dictionary to get like design tokens. So this is like an implementation okay. detail, just talking through. But, Wait, what about the um, Netflix design? There's a, there's a Netflix design lexicon, right? Uh, for studio that there's one so now we're working on one on the the sign up side so i've been oh, working okay. on that so this is like the first time i got to do like some solid like css stuff so the button that's going to be there um is going to look very similar to that button but it <laughs> will be a different button and there's okay. a lot more going on under the hood. <laughs> that's the level of precision you need to like that's why just... i said it's dumb and these no but these things have real effects on signups like literally like in these a b tests that that's mind blowing that we're yeah well this one's that. mostly for a developer experience thing this is going to make it so we're going to okay. be able to roll out tests um and be able to build that, features and oh, stuff hey, like a, a lot faster so that button is going to be different that button that button all right so you heard it here first folks <laughs> that that button is going to be different <laughs> okay very cool though um 
buttons aside, I, know, I like that interstitial screen with the tariff. I mean, because it's, it's really all about like providing a smooth user experience and, you know, kind of knowing where the rough points are and not calling a ton of attention to them versus like when I can't get text to show up in a box and, you know, that, <laughs> that's, that's my life. But all right. So you left from there and in this CSS, you were willing to share this with everybody because they needed to know more. And you started writing some articles. This was sort of interspersed through this whole journey. And oh, yeah. what, yeah, I mean, what, what are some of your like fun ones? I mean, so we had the, the article, there was that big CSS article. Actually, you know what? Let me let me go find the links. I... Yeah, the, the one on CSS tricks was the big one. But I'm I'm a huge fan of kind of like sharing knowledge as you go. Like honestly, like I've learned so much um, online just from reading other people's like random blogs and posts and and whatnot. So I'm a huge fan of like kind of sh sharing free information like freely and openly. Okay. And. I've posted on my own website and like, you know, you get like oh. a few clicks here and there, but you don't really get like information out that's actually like valuable to people that they need to know. We so need sometimes your you website. Need to... Where is that? Where is your website? I didn't link my website, oh, but you can my... go to it tylertiles.com and you can play with the, the buttons at the top. I like the buttons. They're flashy and it's just like, a, <laughs> that, that, that's a fun um, CSS thing to look at too. If you want to pull that up, we can talk through okay. it. Okay. Yeah. They roll over and I hit yeah, one. Click Pick those and they flash. Oh, they that flash. that's a nice flash. See, that's a nice subtle detail there. That yeah. And the, if you inspect the, the page, um, you can pull that up too. And it's I was it's only I don't like usually lines. show people's CSS on stream, so this is really like you know, um, it, it, as long as you authorize it. <laughs> yeah, I, I approve. You you can do okay. it. Okay. All right. I don't I, believe, I don't usually yeah. do this. <laughs> that's, okay. So uh, we're gonna look at all of this, all of the source, the raw source. No, no. Let's just pull open the head, and we'll just like open okay. the style sheet itself. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you, I mean, you can do it from there too, from sources. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I um, try not to. I, I. This is the part of the the page that scares me. <laughs> um, I think it's called Focus Party. Focus Party. I see Focus Party. All right. It doesn't. All right. I have to do it that yeah. way. That's. Oh, you have such clean CSS. What's going on yeah, here? So this, this is all just, of the code that makes that Just flash. making me look bad. <laughs> this is like the proper. This is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's the flashing. That's that's what handles the flash because uh, it's the focus state from when you, you click it. And then I'm just doing an animation to kind of like mess around with the background. Um, oh, very nice. Transitioning the background from this like white opacity ish thing on top of like whatever color is underneath it doesn't matter what color okay. is underneath. i'm definitely it. dropping yeah. this this seems like a pretty solid like thing for people to check i'm, I'm going to check this out when i <laughs> need to know how to do that <laughs> okay yeah. very cool okay that's that that's super cool so and then but then you also link the stuff on the blog i'm guessing to various posts and yeah the um, color palette's a fun one too okay i like the color palette um, yeah, there's not a whole lot there. So, so there's just not a whole lot on my my own blog. I write it. It doesn't whoa. really matter. That's why I reached out to um, to, to CSS Tricks to, to write uh, for them. And I only did like one article, but the custom properties are, and that's what the entire article is about. And that's actually what the colors here are about too, is using CSS custom properties okay. um, to be able to to create all those. So that's a, a palette of 100 colors. It's that's another style sheet that's just called colors.css. And okay. whenever I start a new project, I just include that color style sheet. And then all the colors that I need to work from. I, I was just thinking like Crayola. Like when yeah. you're looking at a crayon box, you're never like, yeah. man, I wish I had more colors. I'm pretty satisfied with this this like limited right. selection. Um, so that's what that's what the color CSS is about. All right, I'm I'm, I'm looking. Okay, it's it's more clean. It's not even minified. I can actually read this. Like, yeah, this is the way the web is supposed to be. <laughs> this, this is how I learned I, how to I, become who I am today. I, it, was this to be is, able to inspect people's websites. This is, this so is crafted. I pay it forward. I love it. Every if I included Bootstrap, that would be more than all of my yeah. unverified code. <laughs> just your config files for Bootstrap is already like Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so it is possible. We can we can we can make CSS great. We can do this. Okay. HTTP two is awesome. I don't okay. know why we're minifying everything. Like yeah. caching is real. No. It's a thing. All right. No, it's good to know. All right. So we leave from there. Now, I don't know if you have the link there for the, but you, you left social media, you left Amazon, you're like, I'm moving on. All right, so you got you got your website, but you went to this Fostodon org, um, which I wasn't 
from the, the Fediverse, right? Yeah, so over in the Fediverse, but we can take we can fill this question from Alpha and Golf if you oh, want. Oh, okay. Want first too. Honest uh, thoughts on front end frameworks like React View. Have we gone too far from the origins of the web? It it depends on like what we're building and who we're trying to cater this to. This is the guy to ask, by the way. <laughs> this is totally the guy to ask. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, it, it's it's a it's a good question. Like, are if you're trying to build a product that you know, I, yes, I, the, the short answer is yes. We've gone too far. <laughs> um, I, there's there's a lot more to unpack there, but. I, I think that the platform itself isn't broken. And in Silicon Valley, there's a very like fundamental mindset of the platform is broken, we need to patch it. And that patch right now for the front end is like React. And I love, I write personally vanilla JavaScript. I write vanilla CSS. Um, the browser itself can load um, modules. But don't you worry about HTTP like they different like browser versions that don't support that or we just forget about them? Like don't worry about polyfills. I mean, you can always polyfill. And like, I think that browser compatibility at this point is just like stupid good. If you're writing ES6, any browser that was created after like 2015, 2016 is going to support it. So you're okay, already so hitting all the right amount of market. Okay, so all our people in like the financial industry and the healthcare industry, sorry, this does not apply to you at all, where it's like fixed on IE6. But anyway, everybody else, yeah. like <laughs> that's you actually get to use nice things now. Well, even to that point, though, like, I mean, I've been dropping stuff on GitHub for the past, like, however many years. So these stupid little CSS frameworks, like, I have one on there called, like, Mosaic CSS, and that's a pretty good grid system. That's a precursor to what I did on Cutestrap, but that works all the way down to IE7. Okay. So Very there's, cool. there's, it's possible. All right. Um, Fafi wants to know what lead cross-functional engineering efforts for projects with global stakeholders means. I mean... Um, so the the non tech jargony version of that is one of the ways that you can pay for Netflix is on um, a phone. Um, so mm -hmm. in certain countries, you can basically link your um, Netflix account to your mobile phone bill. So for that project, it was working with carriers um, in a few different countries, and I won't get into specifics on countries or car carriers, mm -hmm. um, but. Um, basically that was for the prepaid option. And that was something that was a very big, difficult challenge to tackle before. Um, okay. And I don't know if I can get too deep into that, but basically well, like a lot of people pay for Netflix on their prepaid phone. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah. So we have the, yeah, and I agree, Alf and Golf, if we can keep it vanilla HTML, CSS, JS, that's, that'd be nice. Observables are the devil, Fof. Yeah, observables are a, a, a thing at Netflix. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna open that can of worms, <laughs> unless you feel the need to, Tyler. I, I don't want to mention we, we Falcor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're not gonna use the but, F word. <laughs> yeah. No. Go ahead. Go ahead. To, to the to the fan of like being of, of the vanilla side of things, um, Parcel um, is one of the bundlers that I prefer using if I need to end up bundling something. Okay. Um, it's because I'm able to write my vanilla stuff, but then also leverage like the benefits of bundling without having to touch Webpack, which is a nightmare. Yeah. Super cool. <laughs> I that I'm Web Webpack has always been my go-to. I, I or I just don't bundle. I'm like I'm like you know what? I'm gonna worry until this site gets like enough traffic, and then I'll you know figure it out. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> but, um, and yeah, I'm sorry they're owning. That's uh, sometimes the IE11. You gotta just. You got to support it. Okay, so it, it it does depend a little bit on your customer segment, but the web in general that we seem to be experiencing has gotten a lot better than in terms of support. Yeah, the the platform itself is doing pretty pretty okay in my mind. Okay, very cool. Well, yeah. um, so going all right. So should we talk about Fediverse or nah? We're I'm I'm down to talk about. Okay, Fediverse. okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, so I mean, I, so I'm I'm just hanging out with you, man. Whatever. No, no. I mean, how did you leave like? everything you just told everyone k thanks bye drop the mic i'm out <laughs> i mean that's yeah. like a transition thing right <laughs> it, it's a total transition and it's been like a bit of a process like i mean i, I grew up on the web like i got into css from myspace and live journal yes. and you know going through the transition of facebook and instagram and all of these things and like the rise and fall of Amazon. I feel guilty sometimes for like, I recommended these things to people and like now they're fundamentally changing how the world works. Um, so it's, it's a, it's a process to be able to just, you know, stop something like one day. So it, and by it, that you Amazon, you mean you day. don't order from Amazon anymore. You're just 
Yeah, I had six orders from Amazon in 2019. I've had zero orders from Amazon in 2020. I'm weaning my way off of Google still. I need to change like some email stuff, but I finally have my email on my own domain, which is like the first start. If you want to start getting free, own your own domain name, get your email going to your domain name. That's the beginning. Yeah, but you never want to deal with spam filtering. I mean, that's like... No, you don't. I'm using yeah. FastMail right now. Okay, there's okay, a, there's okay, options okay. out there. So all right, all right. So you're not totally crazy. Name. You're not like standing up your own SMTP no, server. No, that's, okay, that's a right. lot of work. Okay. <laughs> and it's so... very insecure. So don't recommend that yeah, either. Yeah, okay. That's, that, that, that's fine. Pay all somebody right. to do it. If you're okay, not paying for email, some... you're, you're the product. Or you're the product. Yep. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. Uh, no, that, so it was just steps, starting with the domain and then just gradually moving out to the other parts of it. Yeah. And that's all right. And then so in that world, you can have a social network and it's not that social network. I mean, what, <laughs> what's yeah. it like? So, so, yeah, now I'm, um, I'm over in like the Fediverse. If you, if you want to pull up a website yeah. for it, like we can talk through. Uh, Fe- Fediverse.party have yours. is a good one. Oh, obviously, I have the Fostadon page. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm on, I'm on Fostadon. If you're really into free and open source software, Fostadon.org is a okay. great place to hang out. And um so it, it's it's kind of weird to be like, oh, I quit social media, and it's like, here's the social network I'm using, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Be sure so you quit that, that social network. network. Okay. Yep. 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 Um, but what makes um, the Fediverse a little bit different, and is that it's actually a federation of servers. So there's a whole bunch of different administrators. So instead of there being one Mark Zuckerberg that we're all like under the uh, yep. jurisdiction of. Um, Anybody can spin up a server. This happens to be um, a Mastodon instance. Uh, they got pretty popular in like 2017 mm-hmm. um, when something happened on Twitter. Um, <laughs> yeah, that is now Twitter, exactly. Just keeps happening. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's more than that because it, this is just a UI that happens to look like Twitter. But underneath the hood, there's this protocol called ActivityPub. Mm-hmm. And ActivityPub is basically like email, but for social media. So the same way that email is decentralized and you can you know sign yeah. up on AOL or Yahoo or Hotmail mm-hmm. or Google, whatever, you can do that with people you actually trust for social networks. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, Kev is one of the admins here. I don't actually personally know Kev, but you can absolutely know, or you can spin up your own instance um, and then you can federate with everybody else across the entire network. And that's, that's the fundamentals of the Super Fediverse cool. basically. Yeah. That, that... That definitely sounds interesting. I mean, I've been having enough trouble getting my Discord to work with my Twitch, and now I need to go entirely the other way. I just, I just owe off them. I hate owe off. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it's it's tough when it, it's now in, in this. They've they've gone much further with their protocol for how they're passing. I guess social packets. I don't I don't, I don't know what the the unit of measure is, but it's a message yeah. around. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, but the the guy that wrote activ- the activity pub spec for um, you know the W three C, his name's Christopher Lemmerweber, and he's actually on here. You can interact with him. Like I ping him, you know, huh. like his stuff, cool. whatever. And he's he's just super active, but he's working on some incredibly cool technology right now that's based like the activity pub. I think it's called like object capability, and it's way beyond my knowledge. I only know CSS, but he's working on building out these like virtual worlds or working on specs to basically build out virtual worlds where you can like operate like a zero, tor- zero trust environment um, okay. and play video games together basically. Um, but it's oh, very the cool. same types of technology. It's, it's fascinating stuff. I don't fully understand it, but I think it's going to be the future to be honest. Right. That sounds pretty good. And then, all right. And there's basically, and this, the pandemic's a great time to explore all this stuff because you know, we're at home and <laughs> suddenly there's time, yeah. but I don't know. I feel like Twitch. I don't have any time. <laughs> I don't, I don't. <laughs> Not according to my viewers. They're they're right. You know, they're all like, oh, come on, get the servo thing to work. I, I've turned servo off tonight, so nobody try to break servo. You know, <laughs> it's Twitch is a full time job, dude. I, I do yeah, not. Do. This is a no. lot of work that goes into this. Yeah, like, no. Well, this is a lot of work. We like clap and chat again, for guy really quick. Can okay, okay. Yeah, that's very. Can we clap for guy? Is that a thing do, that happens? I, do. I I I guess I I. They they might. I, <laughs> there's, there's a bit of a stream delay too, so you know maybe they did, and we don't know. Okay, all right. So Marion's given us a clap, so that's a big deal. Marion is right. one of the like. Marion can see bugs, like like you know, sort of like you know like in the sixth sense, like I see dead people, like except they don't know they're dead. Like like Marion sees bugs in my code, except like 
I don't know that they're there. <laughs> like she, like I'm live coding, and she's like, you don't want to do that. <laughs> that that thing, that no, don't do that. <laughs> so, don't touch that. That no, uh, <laughs> that's that's that. Anyway, you got two um, semicolons there, guy. Yeah, <laughs> that too. You got to knock that off. <laughs> okay, but then after all that, then we had a little chat and we get to the thing that is so mind-numbingly big you you i i was struggling with some css i would i had just finished a design working with a designer who's incidentally going to be on next on the show next week okay. and she says she's like okay well i finished the design here's the design of the website just need to like you know do your your html and your css thing and you know i was kind of like yeah you know she done she'd done it in photoshop um it's you know she's more on the graphic arts side and so I was like struggling with that. We we got to talking and then you were like, I was like, wait a minute, this is like the guy, right? You know, he could he could do CSS and like he just like sneeze in their CSS. Like it, it just yeah, I mean it's just it'd just be there. So I was kinda like, do you you know and you provided an insane amount of help building this website, which I think we're gonna have to reveal on stream for the first time. Now I, I I don't. I don't know if we should just reveal. I, I, maybe we need to ask chat. Maybe you know what we because yeah. chat wasn't telling us enough about the clap here. So there's the there's the clapping that was you know Are very. They sleeping? Uh, they, okay, we're watching that, the debate in no, the sidebar. They're, <laughs> they're watching in the sidebar. So we're we're actually going to go like like should we drop the amazing ridiculous thing, <laughs> the, the thing, the amazing. I need the bourbon. Don't do that to me. <laughs> the amazing thing we haven't seen tonight. And I'm going to say, let's say, no, definitely not. And um, get on it. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to just drop that as a poll. So we'll let, we'll let them decide. Um, in the meantime, that is, so it should be in, X, yes, and you're right, Fafi. She she actually does. So I'm terrible in that side of the world. I mean, like I can't I can't get any of my CSS right. So anything design. She's just like, all right, you know. She's by the way also the same designer that rebuilt coding with some guy. So I'll show you that while that poll is going on. Like when I originally cranked out the site, like right before I first started you know, doing my Twitch, I was just like, all right, here is my original version was like, oh, and she looked at it and she went, please let me let me do the thing you know and, and so she just like quickly threw this together and you know just and i was like oh man that is like just so much better <laughs> like i mean just, you know there's like there's like colors that make sense and there's like you know stuff that flows and you know it doesn't doesn't look like she's like she's like i've just noticed a pattern in all your website they look like this like you know this same bar and this like you know whatever oh wow they're they voted. It just showed up on the web page. Okay, the embed actually works. So get on it. Got some votes. All right. So we're. we're I got hundred percent of the votes except for my definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, I should have voted a definitely not. Damn it. <laughs> okay. All right. So we are gonna do it. We're we're gonna we're gonna look at at some of Tyler and her brilliant work. Um, so this is by the way, fourteen quick org. Okay. So this. This is and this CSS is handcrafted. No, no, okay. This is actually built with this is not the same hand hand rolled stuff we saw on the previous site. This was actually this went through like some different site translators, you know, and you know, that that terrible client, not gonna name names, but you know, it's like I want it, want it to be updatable and not touch CSS, please. <laughs> so this is it. This is 14quick.org. And I did tell people on stream a long time ago, and I'm gonna bet that most of that audience isn't here tonight, that I am going to play video games later in the year. And so that is actually, this site is us speed running Final Fantasy 14. And I would tell you about the whole thing. This is actually not a free company site at all, Fafi. This is, we are going to be doing, and thank you, Tyler, for making this a possibility because my website would not have come out. <laughs> but, I'm glad I could help. I love touching CSS, man. Call this, me, tag me in, whatever. No, that is totally awesome. Um, this, I'm actually going to drop this link here. This is um, not a free company. I actually haven't played 14 in a while. Little known fact, um, based on a bunch of negotiations, and it totally depends on who you talk to, but I like my interpretation is that currently we have from two years ago 
the the world speed running record for Final Fantasy fourteen, and that's Final Fantasy fourteen single segment MMO. This was designed to be a six month game originally, in nineteen hours forty five minutes and twenty two seconds. So we actually brought an entire stack team and we did it as a charity event. We tried to do it again the next year, and we didn't get there. We got like all the way to the end of AR, like right near the sort of final bouts, and we just weren't in high enough level. It was too late at night. And, you know, I just want to show you that because we actually built a video of it, and that is got posted on the website. This is just freshly posted, but we are going to actually see it. So we're going we're gonna to show that. They voted. Dude, I did not know you had the record. That's, That's so dope. Yeah, and then we unrecorded. You know, like the next year, we didn't even finish that the game. Count. So, that doesn't count. <laughs> so we are actually we are going to do it again. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go all the way to YouTube for it. Wait, this is an MMO. Has anyone ever speed run one of these before? Who's healing? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't you, this is the team talking. This is from the matter. actual run. Uh, first Amira awarded. 28 minutes. 28 minutes. <laughs> We're not allowed to swear. Swearing. This is, by the no, way, an I extra life that. event. I just repeated <laughs> shit. You totally swear. <laughs> That's not a game. I, I declare shenanigans. You have to speak to Sadaboji of the completely unpronounceable name. Yes. We don't get to play Kick the Lala today. <laughs> don't kick the Lala. Don't, don't kick the Lala. Lala. All right. I'm going to hack it. need to kick the Lala. <laughs> I trust my healer. Which one of you is my healer? Yeah. Well done, folks. I have to strap the Lala to my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, healer. <laughs> you can pull the boss. She didn't believe <laughs> really? it. Yep. Seriously? Okay. Just don't go out of line of sight like that. Hey, you gotta keep up with me. Don't pull the boss. Oh, there's no, there's no excuse. Your legs are the perfect length. I don't want to hear it. Oh, cutscenes yeah. kill you. <laughs> Not helping our speed run. 182 people? What? Wow. Oh, my lord. We got <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> this tech rated us for this event. <laughs> All right, let's give them a show. Which four are ready to go into Toto? That dragoon is the random person we just got is going to have stories. <laughs> Holy pooping poop. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, folks. It all broke. All the gear <laughs> broke. I got cure, and I got swift cast cure, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and you got high potion. <laughs> when he cures, then he swift cast cures. That's cure too. <laughs> Just as I expected. Oh no! Our tank lost the controller. <laughs> I'll give you a live take. All right, we cleared it. No, not a wipe, not a wipe, not a wipe. Ah! Get him, get him, get him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. I don't have limit break on my Welcome to hour 12, folks. Oh, we just start falling apart. Right after hour 12, we're just falling apart. <laughs> That's real time in the top corner, this one o'clock in the morning. Pacific. We got this, we can run. I have trouble there running out of MP. No. Too much DPS. One big go. So many DPS. Wait, is it completed? No. No. Can we run the app? So We're tired. Queuing for roulette. Starts hitting you at that hour. Pray we don't get. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I've been up for 23 hours. I'm about to shit. I hear you, dude. Well, thanks Let for hanging. Thanks for the run. Oh, it was fun. Thank you guys for having. Me. Yeah. Our pleasure. See you later. Oh. All right, I'm going to shut the stream off. I don't think anyone needs to watch this. No one. <laughs> <laughs> not at four in the morning. Wait, we're not going to do this again, are we?
We're doing it. We are absolutely doing it. That that is the premiere. This is the event. This is basically coming up in a couple. So we're actually going to have the speed run team on the stream next week. So you are the last power hacker before the speed run. <laughs> I'm honored. <laughs> so and you're the guy who actually got this site to, to work i did a last minute change here that's why i dropped in the trailer so i know nobody's seen it basically <laughs> so um that is basically yes and by the way you're right marion communication does drop after that time we do keep like pretty we try to keep up there you can hear the primogen in the background he's like just high energy all night he's just going this was netflix gamers we did this on site this year we're going to be doing it virtual we're going to be doing it entirely on twitch um, and we saw a pretty nice raid there from that was that was Ms. Tech. She's like one of the best Final Fantasy like raid guides like out there. She just totally rocks and she was supportive of us doing extra life and trying to, you know, help out the Children's Miracle Network, you know, children with terminal diseases. So we're gonna be doing a little bit round table around that and we're gonna try to do a little fundraising. So we'll see if, you know, people uh, wanna watch us play. So that is kicking off next actually it kicks off right now basically so for those of you who were wondering what happened to the saturday stream practice that's what happened we were actually starting practice so that's saturdays my saturdays are going to be practice so you're going to start seeing the game i don't know how much we're going to actually show from practice because practice is a little, little, little rough you know we have a little time till game day so maybe we don't you know show that just yet but um that that is it you can all check the site out and uh that yeah Let's look at the beauty of the CSS that's there. I mean, and and how it actually works at different sizes. And, and is, is it minified? Did we minify that CSS, or can they learn from it too? I, I don't remember. Don't remember. I, don't, I, I don't know if I want to look. I, I, it's, <laughs> I mean, it maybe. My question is, who's who's Shepard Book? Uh, that, it's funny that you mention that because he's a character from Firefly. You know, maybe in season two would be like one of the main foci of the show but i'm gonna just give you a little hint who that is <laughs> but um i did try to, that's actually shepherd right there you could see him just sort of chilling uh oh, oh, nice. oh he disappeared but um that I, I tried to dress him up in his empire you know when he was still well i don't know i don't want to spoil i mean for those of you who didn't read the graphic novel but um i read the graphic novel <laughs> yeah all right so <laughs> but for everyone else i i tried to go more in his like army sort of days so that is yeah. um that's going to be coming. Yeah, you didn't know. Primogen was not in that run, Fafi. He was actually streaming Twitch from the like next table over. But he's, you know, he's a loud guy, so you can hear him like over all the audio the entire time. So, and he just keeps the energy up. It was super great to, for everyone to be in the same room. It's going to be harder this year without, you know, his his just splurge for life keeping us going at like three or four in the morning. So, um, but anyway, yeah, that. That is Final Fantasy fourteen. We we I have not been playing it. I, I had actually just reactivated my sub recently, so I was like, "All right, team, we gotta we gotta figure this out again." You know, we <laughs> we gotta we gotta get practice. We gotta we gotta get through. We gotta find stuff in red circles. We gotta be ready for the entire main scenario quest. Like, so the definition I actually had. That's sort of the limit of my CSS. You can see the little bar in the corner where it's like. It's a progress bar that I, I I quickly hacked together, and it shows you how far you are through the story. And it just I use that as sort of like a visual guide, but it's it's a rough bar. I mean, it's not um, it's not pretty at all. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, that that gives you a sense. There's 188 quests from the start to uh, when you finish ARR. They actually sim simplified some of it. We're we're discovering in practice, so it's a little bit shorter. But excuse me, I think we're actually going to make it this year. That that's that's the bet what what do you mean by they simplified it so like there's people solved more of like the speed running side of things or like how does it yeah no they 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 cut they cut down some of it like you know like you used to have to like there's like one quest early on you're supposed to like if you're starting gridania you're supposed to find like four eggs from this particular creature and it's now it's just one one egg you know so it's like, like it's like little like tweaks like that you know so it's like you know there's this one scene where you're supposed to dump water on this guy and it's like it, it's not a good scene <laughs> like you're supposed to, like it's really janky with the ui too you're supposed to like take like a, a bucket and bring it to a river except there's only like one point where there's an action point so it's like not really <laughs> and then it's like and two people can't hit it at the same time and a whole bunch of other bugs so basically like you had to like get it and then fill it up and then put water and then you had to like bring it over and then you dump it. now it's just like 
talk to the guy and it's like okay you woke me up <laughs> like so it's just like they, they they simplified it in that sense like there's just less kind of stuff to get through um gotcha. cool. they didn't remove anything substantial marion like you know like they actually touched up one of the worst quests in the game which is uh nouveau riche which i love to pick on during game day but it's it's basically this quest where you're like i i feel like the translator even got bored writing this quest like because they it was originally in like japanese and so they're just like so talk to this guy talk to this guy again talk to this guy again italics talk to this guy dot 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 again talk to this guy dot 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 again <laughs> italics like talk to this like it's it's like seven steps and it is the absolute worst quest in the game so they they cut that down like it's not it's not as bad it's just like all right find him he runs away do the instance you know like <laughs> so it's manageable you know anyway um that we're gonna have the round table next week so we're gonna we're gonna do that that's that's gonna this is kind of the start Dude, of that. that's super exciting man yep so we're gonna go part-time gaming part-time live coding and part-time gaming just until the event and the actual event we're doing a little bit early due to scheduling issues um trying to work with the team because you know for the mmo you need like a whole team <laughs> you know like you need the whole group that you would be going through all the levels so we're trying for the full eight we have a full eight at the moment um and it, so we're going to be doing that October 24th is the actual run. So like, you know, we'll, we'll do the Wednesday here and then we have some practice stuff. Maybe we'll do a little peek, a little behind the scenes, but then that's, then we're, we're running later in the month. So thank you, Tyler, for building that site because <laughs> that, that, that really has come together far. <laughs> I'm glad that, I could so. help. Honestly, I, this is a good cause. I so do. If people want to. Don't yeah. donate. They they go to this website and they go to donations. donations. Is that where they go? Donations are open. I still we're we're busy working with the team um, to just fine tune like because right now it's set up to my extra life account, which you know because we didn't have our team set up on the extra life website, so we're 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 gonna fix that. So you don't you don't need to donate today, <laughs> but um, that we'll 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 have that fixed by the roundtable next Wednesday. <laughs> so hopefully hopefully in advance of that. So but anyway, you can check the site out 14quick.org. So we are just tearing through 14 quick. And by the way, you should see the original domain name that I registered for this, which is the worst domain name in the world. Ffxivdq dot. <laughs> Oh, Archie. Why There's is like, that bad? There is nothing good about that. When you, I was like trying to describe it to someone, and they were like, "What?" And I was like, "I was like, yeah, it's like Final Fantasy, but like 14, like the Roman numeral, and then it's followed by you know done quick because it, it's, it, it, it was bad. You know? <laughs> like I just, I, I had like two conversations. I was like, this is the worst domain name ever. Right? It's so, not work. Yeah, I know. And so I ran out and like dropped my programmer for a minute. I was like, this is not an identifier. I can actually have a number in the beginning of a of a domain name. It's then 14 quick. Yeah, it turned out to be free. So I, I stomped on it at that point. <laughs> so I was like, that is a great domain name. The other domain name of whoa. <laughs> That's mouthful. Yes. That was yes, Marion, please don't even write it. I, I shouldn't have even shown it. It was just it's just a it's like a case study in what you shouldn't do with domain names, but if you can't tell somebody that or if you have to explain what a hyphen is like it's probably it's a rough domain now all right tyler i want to thank you for coming on the show it was really a pleasure to hear about that oh there is one question i have to ask before you disappear though if okay. you could name one hack tool that would that was instrumental what would it be for somebody that's getting stuff done and this is where i was kind of hinting so you can't use the noessa like talk to the you know do a little networking on hack day like you know but what what would be like a tool that you think would help a hacker who is aspiring to win out for like a hack day like yeah. what, what do you use to like get a leg up on your competition yeah something they you know may or may not be using but something you see like a ton of value in so like like that coming up with that idea for the interstitial screen or like you know ha like what what would you what would you say is like i mean so obviously the the inspector right i mean that's something yeah. i could level up yeah. on but that hundred oh, colors is pretty solid i mean so cute strap i like because it, it seems like a much simpler way to go but <laughs> yeah no that's a that's a really good question like on, honestly like at this point like i'm always trying to like thin down on on dependencies of things so like which tools would be like worth using or worth getting into um yeah 
I think it's just like knowing your toolkit like really thoroughly is like what I'd recommend. And like, I've only been doing it for about a year, but I'm all about Vim right now. And mm -hmm. that, that's, that's you're where in the I'm right at. company for that. That, so, <laughs> that. If you've never typed Vim Tutor into your terminal before, type in Vim Tutor and you can do that right now. And it's, it's just Except being on able to go. <laughs> yeah. Um, but being able to go is just like straight from like whatever you're thinking to like whatever you want to be coding is going to help you move as fast as possible. And it's going to take some time. You got to like walk before you run type thing. Mm. Um, yeah, but a lot of value Vim in tutor, that as an recommend editor. Vim tutor. So you like that editor? I mean, is it just like, what would you say is like worth, the reason worth going through the sharp learning curve on Vim? Like why why would they want to do that? What, what, what speaks to you about it? Yeah. Um, personally, um, what, what draws me into them and just like being more in my terminal, cause I'm actually, I have my workflow fully into the terminal now and it, it was not that way. Um, even a year and a half ago, like I started July of 2019, like getting into them and like getting out of VS code. And th that, that's probably more of the story is like, why did you leave VS code? Everybody in Silicon Valley is using VS code mm. right now. Um, and the fact of the matter is like if you have to jump around to different applications your mind is always constantly switching like every time you see an advertisement your mind goes to something else so like and yeah. that applies to like every little thing so anytime your mind gets derailed you're not focusing on what you're trying to accomplish what task you're trying to accomplish okay um, so, so that, fight that, for that attention yeah fighting for attention like i'm just trying to narrow down my attention makes sense okay well that's a great reason to be in the terminal and vim is fantastic there i mean for me it's it's movement I mean, like Vim movement is to me almost more important than Vim. Like I, I can even use another ID as long as it allows Vim movement because I feel like it's such yeah. a fast way to go without clicking. And and that, I love that. <laughs> I... As somebody that's like, you know, relatively new into Vim, like what do you recommend for me to like up my game to, to get better at that, that movement? That is probably a better question for the Primogen because he's got a whole like series of like Vim with me. He's got this Vim Vim Battle Royale where you actually get to like fight against somebody else by having minimal keystrokes and like knowing like shortcuts and it like kind of forces you to learn, I think is kind of where he's going with it. He's he's been developing that on stream. So for those of you who don't know, um, I would recommend checking that out. I don't have the link for that, but I do have the link for the Primogen. So uh, the Primogen. So this is the uh, this is his stream, uh, and he uh, does occasionally work on those those Vim tools. Although right now he's on a Rust tear, so you know maybe you don't want to watch that. But <laughs> yeah. that's... to to answer uh, Fafi's question, like what's your CSS preprocessor of choice? That is uh, actually a really personal question to me. Uh, I, <laughs> nice. I, I, no, like in a, in a good way. Like I'm glad you asked. Um, I went to uh, the conference in a event apart back in um, I think 2014 or 2015, and I get to meet Eric Meyer. And Eric Meyer has always been like a hero to me in like the CSS world because of the reset style sheet. I learned from like inspecting people's source code, and mm -hmm. like um, so you just see you saw that everywhere. Every single web page had web page had that now you don't see it as much because it just gets compiled away or somebody else is using something else but i, I asked that question to, to eric i said what is your css preprocessor of choice and he said he doesn't actually use one and the reason is he needs to be as low to the browser as possible to be able to like identify bugs in in css itself and going into that question i was using sass and i was like sass is so much better than less and like you know one of those like bike shedding arguments of like what css preprocessor is really better and ever since then, I've actually that that shifted my mindset of like this Silicon Valley. You got to run everything through Webpack too. The browser does kind of like understand things and like it, it pushed <laughs> me back. Don't defeat the that. cache. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, That's... exactly. Don't defeat the cache. Um, so right now, I'm actually not using any CSS preprocessor. If I were to recommend anything to anybody that's like working with CSS at this point, it'd be to mess around with post CSS. Um, there's just so much you can do with post CSS. Anything you want to be solving with a preprocess preprocessor, you can do. You can even do preprocessing with um, with post CSS. But what I like about it is it's relatively straightforward to write plugins. Um, it, it ultimately got forked from what Auto Prefixer um, was, or like the internals of Auto Prefixer now like power um, post CSS and all mm -hmm. of those different transforms. So that that's what I'd recommend if you're going to yeah. mess around with something. Very cool. Well. 
I thank you for that and thank you for the great questions, everybody. Um, you can also catch Tyler on the Discord. He does occasionally hang out on the Discord. So <laughs> let me uh, let me just drop that in there. Um, so feel free to come by. Uh, and um, Tyler, thanks so much for coming on the show. I mean, I hope we we see yeah. you again here. I mean, this yeah. was really a pleasure. This is a blast. And thank yeah, you so no. much for having me and congratulations again for launching 14quick.org. <laughs> yeah, there it is. We dropped it tonight. So <laughs> that's that's our just one more thing. So anybody, thank you everybody. I will maybe see you Saturday if we stream a little bit of practice. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't have practice this Saturday because it's, it's Sunday this week. <laughs> okay, so I actually will, next stream will be on Saturday. And then after that learn session, we'll be back on on Tuesday. So Thanks, everybody. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Social distance. Register to vote. <laughs> Do all those things. And be careful about packing your CSS. Very important. Okay, so we'll see you later. See you later. Peace.